Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Wayward, shall we? Well, I'm not exactly sure what this game is going to be all about. The uh, developer reached out, it looked cool, and I'm ready to dive in for the first time here in November of 2022. Let's go ahead and make a new game. Alright, so uh, hardcore mode, it is default and permadeath, and that's great. So we're just going to call this, you know, um, Dr. Incompetent. And um, I'm not going to change anything. We're going to play it single player. And we're just going to say roll. And we're going to make a new character. Oh my. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And with these are our choices here and here. All right. Um... Whether our, I mean, that's okay hairstyle. Uh, can we, let's see, my name is Ellie Beth, I suppose. Let's see, <laughs> you can rotate your character, that is hilarious. Um, and, you know, uh, I have different choices for how I would like to appear. Uh, let's see. Margaret, Humphrey, Barnes. Uh, these are pretty funny. Uh, how do I want to look? Which one looks the best? I mean, this is close. This is fine. And we'll just, you know, roll with it. So I'm just going to go like this. And let's go. Generating Island. Oh, the lands of the ancients. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, there's a ton going on here. All right, so let me just take in what I see. All right, so this is a top down. I don't think time is passing. I hope not. Very, very old school RPG looking kind of game you know, visually, right? You've got this extreme pixelation. Oh, I can zoom in with the mouse wheel. Okay, cool. And I'm on beach sand. The mouse uh, provides some uh, tooltip information about the type of terrain that you're on. Up in the left, you can see I have health, I have stamina, hunger, and thirst. So there are survival mechanics built into this. On the bottom, you see like action tooltips um, or action, you know, buttons for skills i imagine something akin to like maybe a minecraft survival crafting kind of window i have an inventory in which i have like a tattered cloth shirt and some trousers there are icons indicating that these are equipped now when i mouse over it uh you can see a whole bunch of information about its durability its weight um there's a description of it there's a grouping for sorting it's called equipment trousers one and it has uses uh, and like what it so it's an equipment piece um, but you can also craft it throw it offer it or disassemble it and it tells you what it does it gives you defense plus one I guess and some resistances okay can I scroll this down I can okay so here's my inventory and then let's look at this um, menu okay this is just the menu very good and save yeah I guess we'll save it um, milestones, okay, I've completed no milestones, alright, so let's close that, um, gameplay settings, notes, stranded, I awake to find myself no longer in the company of good men or a fine seafaring vessel, okay, um, instead I discover myself in tattered clothing, but with a few possessions, a one beggar tick seed one water skin and a cotton seed and other shoddy items treasure the thought is vague and fleeting but i remember something about treasure all right so that's day one that's kind of like here we are and if i mouse over beggar tick seeds it says right here it can be planted to grow flowers i have a water skin to drink from and some cotton seeds so is this like I mean, it, it feels like a roguelike, but it's like a Stardew Valley 
it's farming simulator survival wow there's a lot going on here okay tremendous and then let's see there's a crafting menu yep i have skills i don't have any right now um i have a, an equipment screen so here's a paper doll for myself and you can see i have something on my chest and something on my legs that's fantastic and i have an inventory which you've seen and actions are right click or the q button and um messages and item actions so i'm walking around right now and uh, i moved um with the wasd keys but it's kind of like you face with those keys and then if you push that direction that you're facing again you move so i'm moving and yes indeed this is a rogue like um, because nothing else is moving. There's a snake down here. A slithering poisonous reptile appears um, ambivalent to your encroachment. And if I push shift, it'll give me more information. Based on your low anatomy skill, it seems that the snake is uninjured. Wow, so I can evaluate its health better if I have a higher anatomy skill. Okay, it also seems that the creature has some resistances and some vulnerabilities all right fantastic okay um i'm gonna check something really fast i think it might be worth it to uh with gameplay settings uh can i change no and can i change anything about the graphics right now i can all right the only thing i want to think about changing is just perhaps um boosting the interface scale up a little bit more let's see how this looks I like this better. It's just a little bit bigger. Like, I'm playing on a big monitor, so I wasn't sure uh, how big I wanted the interface. I started... It starts at 1 default. I went to 1.5. It was a little too small. Hopefully, you can see things better. I've doubled it. Okay. So, um, this is, by the way, the Wheels and Wetlands update 1 of the game that I'm playing on. So, I'm going to kind of... Um, can I click to move? Yes, you can. So, you can control with either, you know, um, the arrow keys... Uh, actually not the arrow keys, just WASD or the mouse. The numpad and the arrow keys didn't seem to do that. You cannot walk diagonally as far as I can tell. I'm going to zoom out like you can, wow, you can zoom way out. Okay, so I have no real idea of what I should be doing. But my hunger and thirst are okay. It also looks like I have stars, which is the difficulty, um, and I have a civilization score. My goodness, I have weight... I have attack, I have defense. Okay, so this is not your average roguelike. This feels like Alona or something like that where it's it's like a roguelike, but it's also a whole kind, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, you know, built in with, with the crafting and everything. All right. I'm just walking away from that snake. It says it feels ambivalent, but I mean, am I going to be trusting snakes? I don't think so. Uh, this is a maple tree, a common maple tree known for its distinctive leaf and seed shape. It's in its ripening stage of growth. It's ready to harvest for its fruit, seeds, or spores. Its main resource must be chopped or gathered. All right. If I right click on this, I can till it with my hands. I can dig with my hands. I can sleep on the ground. I can jump. Um, use this action to discover it. So I think that must mean there's a tutorial. Like if I try to jump, um, I've discovered the action does that oh i was gonna think maybe it explained it to me no i can jump and now it's discovered which means i can just um now jay doesn't do it again if i push it again um it you can jump one tile forward from the direction that you're facing and it looks like it uses a bunch of stamina if you do that but you can't do your actions unless you push Q first. So you can't just push J as your hot key. You have to kind of push the Q key first. So um, I'm with walking around and just exploring. And you can see it's got very cool uh, kind of line of sight graphics animation happening. All right. Let me look at my inventory again. All I have... Uh, let's see what the crafting is all about, because do I need to make something? Um, I can make a, an arrowhead, a wooden spear, and an arrow shaft. Can I make anything else? Um, 
I can't make a hand drill because I don't have enough wooden poles. Um, and I have one wooden pole right here, and I can use it to make a spear. I don't have a weapon, so I should probably craft this. I made it. My skill in woodworking has raised to 1%. <laughs> okay, well, it's better than nothing. All right, I'm going to kind of slide my inventory down a little bit. And um, let me right-click on this and equip it to my main hand. I did. So now you can see it's actually animated. I have a spear equipped. So I can walk around and maybe poke something with it if I need to. My attack went up to four, by the way, to reflect the plus three from my main hand weapon. So how do I get more wooden poles? I'm assuming by chopping down trees. I also have a shovel with me that I can dig with. So, um, for example, this maple tree, it does say you can, um, like... I could equip this, right? And maybe I should equip it to my offhand. Now I'm holding it. And if I right click on this, um, it still says dig with hands or till with hands. And it, again, the, the note said something about treasure. So maybe I want to be trying to dig for treasure. I get that. Um, but uh, okay, I can just dig with the G key, it looks like. Only if I, um, only if I have this maybe in my main hand. I, I put the shovel in my main hand, um, I think. No, I unequipped it. Never mind. Um, all right, it's in my main hand. And now if I right click on this, it still says dig with hands. I did some digging. It says, you dig away at the grass, but did not produce any resources yet. Your hands do not appear the most effective for digging. Your skill in botany has raised. So even though I equipped this shovel in my main hand, I don't think you want to equip it because it's not doing anything like this. If I dig with it right here, um, now I got an earthworm. Okay. And in that sense, hmm, let me equip this then to my main hand. And then, like, if I put the shovel, let me drag it down to, like, number one. Okay. Now, that's how you do it. So, now that I have the shovel down on action one, like, if I just push one... Now the action is discovered. That's what it meant by your action is discovered. So if I want to go to like Q and I can just like throw jump mm, maybe um, down here. No, not really. Okay. But I can definitely just push one to dig and still have the spear equipped. So that feels good. I'm digging. I got some blades of grass. All right. So for whatever that's worth. Oh my gosh, there's a cave entrance. I mean, am I ready for a cave? Of course not, right? Of course not. I'm, I'm going to die, and that's fantastic. Uh, let's see, what is this minus five? This is uh, malignity. This is like the, the evil rate of the world. Maybe it becomes more evil over time, or maybe it's a score, and the game is telling me you're so bad at this game, you're at negative five. Congratulations. I don't have any torches, so that seems like it would be important for the purposes of doing anything. Oh, I got a new note. Extraordinary. I picked up an earthworm. I notice it is a superior specimen indeed. I'm sure using this in the craft will benefit the end result greatly. I also observe it appears to have greater durability and strength than most other items in its class, resulting in a much greater endurance when used. Uh, learn more. Um, oh, okay, so it's a superior item because it has a green border. Oh, look at this. All right, I just went to the help screen, and here we go. Um, this is where the tutorial is. It's not like a procedural tutorial. It's a, here it is, um, welcome to Wayward. Um, Wayward is still currently in beta status, and many things will change and improve over time. Indeed. Okay. Uh, controls. Here we go. Um... 
some options, milestones, dibbidi bop dibbidi bop, yep. Movement. Oh, you can use middle mouse to move also. You can skip with spacebar. Uh-huh, item management. Okay. Good. Fast ways to pick up items on the ground, okay. If there's an item on the tile you'd like to pick up, you can either walk onto it if auto pickup is enabled, or use the pickup item while facing the tile. Um, space to pass the turn and gather the items up one at a time. Facing the tile, pick up all items. Okay. All right. So this earthworm, it is extraordinary. And um, I can eat it, I guess. And it, did anything new open up on my crafting menu? Um, compost did, but I need more... Worms, I guess? And this would mean I need another pole. All right. Boy. Okay. Let's zoom in. And let me, let me try moving over here. Yeah, with the middle mouse button. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to walk over here. And what is this? An animal skull. Oh, okay, go get that. I picked it up. And now we have an animal skull. It is superior quality. All right. So let's just gather stuff up and think about, you know, um, the business of potentially... Crafting something useful. Another snake. There's a bunch of sand. This is a... Some button mushrooms. Okay, go get those, I guess. I'll be it up. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Maybe I have to, uh... Harvest it. Um... Here, let me actually go stand on it. And I push spacebar and um, till. Oh, no, I didn't till the right thing. Here, uh, I had to turn around. And, uh, no, I can't till that. What can I do with it? Gather it, yeah. Um, oh, wow, you don't want to gather it with your hands. Maybe I need a knife or something. My goodness, okay. What is this? This is twigs. There, now you're talking. Get me some twigs. Mycology skill went up. Um, that's cool. There's a copal, whatever that is. Um, it is what well, we'll find out right away. I'm going to go ahead and move this down. Um, I'm going to move this window down here. The UI is really cool, very easy to use. Uh, it's tree resin. All right. Um, well, we can dismantle some stuff. I can dismantle a branch. And I can make a pole, maybe? So when I dismantled it, I got a bunch of smaller resources. Um, I got a wooden pole, I got twigs, and I got raspberries. I can dismantle the skull, for example. Um, I need a hammer to do that, though. Okay, and then let's go back to crafting. So now we can make another spear, or we can make an arrow. I'd really like to make um, a hand drill so I can make like, a fire, you know? So let's try to get some more stuff for that, right? Snake man, please don't bite me. He's not. He's being good. Here's a feather. All right. So now we can make uh, an arrow. Now we don't have a bow, um, but we could make a string with cordage. All right. So maybe I'll go over here. I'm going to face this, and I'm going to just um, gather with my hands... That's not the right thing to do. I see that. Um, what if I dig it? Nope, dig is not the right thing to do on that square. Okay. I mean, I'm just digging away the grass. Like, I don't know if this is smart or not. Nothing I'm doing is smart. I get that. I'm just randomly exploring, trying to gather enough stuff to build things. Now, I could look at the at the help a bit more, I think, probably. 
to get some tips on what I should be doing logically without, you know, putting myself in extreme risk. All right, I'm walking way over here. I don't know if your character will stop when there's danger, by the way. There's um, some apples. Can I gather from this? Harvest with your hands. Yes. You pick away at the apple tree, but do not produce any resources yet. Try again. I got an apple. Bing. Heck yeah. So I am, like, vaguely hungry. How much hunger does this restore? Uh, let me see what happens if I eat it. A good amount. A good amount of hunger. So, one health, eight stamina, two hunger, and a thirst. All right, very good. All right, so I found something to eat. Let's go ahead and gather some more of these apples. These seems good. Oops. And go ahead and gather. And now there's no apples left on the tree because we got them all. So we're like, we, we've gathered all the apples. That's apple time for us. Is this um, a pile of rocks? Great, get them. Now, I might, okay, I might need to stand next to this, turn around, and then dig. Yes, I'm digging, I'm getting rocks. This is great. All right, so now I can make a granite sundial as a timepiece. I can make smooth granite, useful for many crafts. I can make a, an arrow shaft. Um, all right, make it. I don't know. It says it's useful for crafts. Do it. So we got that now. Or whatever that's worth. My weight is still fine. My encumbrance. I'm not carrying too much. This is... Uh, what is this? A spruce tree. This is uh, a raspberry bush. But it's just not very... Um, full. I'm just getting these uh, apples. There we go. Alright. figure I'll need a lot of apples early on. I don't have any food. So... What's this? A raspberry bush. Fresh water. Can I drink from this? Let me look at this. Um, drink in front. Heck yeah, I can. Uh-oh. I got poisoned. That's not good. I didn't realize that the the water would be poisoned. Wah, wah. We are poisoned. Um, it's actively dealing damage to us. Reduce stamina and thirst. So, boy, that's... I learned that one the hard way. All right, so we'll just kind of stay here for a moment. And I'll just pass turns until maybe the poison wears off. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, oh, here's some notes. My vision blurs as I write this. My stomach tied in knots. Unpurified fresh water has caused me to become poisoned. All right, so it's unpurified. Wow, what is this, cataclysm? I could feel myself getting weaker even through the process of writing this note. Thirst consumes me and my well-being is in jeopardy. I must attempt to fabricate a cure. Perhaps plants of a medicinal nature may aid me in this bodily turmoil. Yes. And here's the earthworm note. And poisoned. And that was inedible. Consuming unpurified fresh water may not have been the best of ideas. I think I might have been poisoned by it. It would be prudent to pay better attention to what I ingest. Something like that should only be consumed when I'm in dire straits. Yep, you got that right. Well, now we know. Please use my death as your guide. All right, I'm going to go in the cave because I'm not intelligent. And I, I figured I would need a torch, but it looks like I can see just a little bit. There's some granite with coal, there's granite, and there's granite with tin. So um, I can't dig, I can't dig... So this isn't, like, I need a pick to do this. Um, I did gather stones, though. Oh, well, this is great. Stones are very good for, um, you know, crafting uh, these smooth granite. And then I can kind of see in my crafting menu, like, what I can make. I can make a furnace um, when I get more granite. So I got granite... Sometimes I get stones, sometimes I get granite. So I'm just going to dig away at all this stuff. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, wait a minute. What, the, what in God's name is that? It looks like a bad guy. Um, that looks like a ghost. All right, so I'm not going to mess with that, but I can get, like, rocks out here. Yeah, here we go. We're getting rocks. 
So I can make cobblestone flooring. I can also make some smooth granite. Um, ooh, I can make a granite mortar and pestle. Do it. You failed to craft it because of a lack of skill. No, you failed to craft it. Um, Uh-oh. It's close to being destroyed. I'm trying it anyway. Ah, uh, we failed. I need fire to do that. All right, fine. I accept the fact that I didn't do a good job. My shovel is, like, busting up, but that's okay. I'm going to need more sticks. I'm going to need to figure out a way to gather sticks without finding them on the ground. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to face this, and I'm going to just push Q and, you know, just gather until I try to get something. Can I get anything from this? No. It, I can't just rip off sticks, apparently. I'm going to eat a apple. All right, let me look at some of these notes. It says, the depths of the island. When outside, I hear the chirps and calls and of birds and small animals. And I hear the strong winds from the ocean rustle the leaves of trees and other flora. Every once in a while, in the distance, I hear a loud growl or the sounds of a fevered chase through the underbrush of a predator and its prey. Down here, however, is different story. It is eerily quiet in the depths of the island, and unlike above, the infrequent sounds that I do hear send shivers down my spine. A faint tip-tap as water drips in the distance. A thin whistle as air passes through cracks in the rough stone, an intermittent clicking noise of what I can only imagine must be the claws of a large arthropod. It would be surprising if these caves didn't have something within them. There are other signs of human activity on the island. The caves should be no different, maybe treasure or other riches. However, I would be lying to myself if I said I wasn't horrified at the thought of continuing deeper. Yeah, I saw something scary. Um, I am too inexperienced. I failed in my attempt to craft a granite mortar and pestle, mostly due to my lack of skill and knowledge in stone crafting. I believe that with repeated attempts, I will gain more of that skill and knowledge and eventually succeed. Okay. Um, stone crafting is right here. My current skill is 5%. I also hope that the materials can suffer the wear that my poor crafting skills are placing on them. I may even need to replace some components that I am damaging on each attempt, which is what happened to me. Although I have many ideas on what to craft with the items in my inventory, some of them might be quite difficult to craft without first having an intermediate, advanced, or even expert skill in the craft for each item. Fair enough. Nothing lasts forever. My smooth granite is close to breaking from use. With the right resources, I should be able to fashion myself a hammer to repair it. If I actively search out high-quality materials to craft my tools, armor, and weapons with, I can expect much higher durability on them, especially after my skills have improved. If I ever manage to find out how to concoct a glue, I can further reinforce my items, providing much higher durability. Interesting. All right. Well, I love that the game kind of, like, explains what's going on based on what you're doing, sort of, in these notes. All right? So that's, that's interesting. I mean... I'm going to, uh, whoops, I'm going to go up here to the help screen, and I'm going to look, is there something about, um, wow, god, merchants, gardening, I mean, this game is super, super deep, uh, resource gathering, here we go. To gather resources from trees or rocks, you must use the chop or mine action from an item's menu. It's also recommended you action slot it for quick usage. Oh. This is, rec uh, see action slots for more information on this functionality. Instead of using a certain item, you can instead slot the chop or mine by using right click, tap, tap, right. Some res resources are not gathered in this fashion. Things like small plants and other objects attached to the ground, referred to as doodads, I love that, require different methods. Okay. Um, chopping is very destructive. You will attempt to gather everything from the plant. Some vegetables and fruits require this to get the edible portion, such as potatoes or carrots, for example. Harvesting will only attempt to get what will keep the plant alive and or sustainable. Interesting. 
All right, well, that's cool. Okay, so then I'm gonna like, I mean, when I'm on this, there is no chop, right? And I don't know if that's just because I don't have the right stuff or what. Gather. Yeah. I'm not able to just gather from that tree. Maybe if I keep trying, you know, something will happen, but... Ow. The right tool for the job. This is the proverb I'm reminded of as I attempt to gather using my bare hands. I know that using a tool for gathering would reduce my chance of injury as well as provide much needed efficiency. Furthermore, I've observed the increased efficiency of using a bladed tool while lumberjacking and using a blunt tool while mining. Right. So I need to make those, but I don't know, you know, um, how to. So let's look maybe in the help for that. Crafting. No. Um... Yeah. Interesting. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, I think I just need to look for like stuff that's on the ground then. So I'm going to zoom way, way out and just tell my character to like walk way up here. There looks to be some good stuff um, over here. I mean, I can easily craft using stones. I can't craft smooth granite anymore. Why is that? Oh, because I don't have a sharpened rock anymore. I busted my sharpened rock. That's embarrassing. I'm going to um, eat this. I'm no longer poisoned, by the way, so I'm not dying, as it were. So that's, that's a good thing. I mean, I'm excited about not actively dying. All right, I'm going to just look over here. And there's some bubbling going on. Dead tree. Uh, now I don't want to... Let's see what happens if I actually... If I dig on the tree. The dead tree. No. There is no... You can't do that. I mean, I'm raising my lumberjacking. I'm just hurting myself. But I wonder if there's ever a possibility that you will gather something from the tree. I got something. I got a log. It was just really, really hard to do. And then let's just dismantle some stuff. So let me dismantle this log. Um, I need a sharpened item. Right. Okay, I can't do that. Let me find... I need to get something that's sharpened. I have a log, though. That seems cool. I'm pleased about that. I, I ate. That was useful. And we'll just go ahead and get a bunch of apples. Got them. All right. Sharpened item. Let's see if, like, just digging away at the ground will provide that for me. Here's a mushroom down here. Here's some more rocks over here. Um, I'll go ahead and dig. I got granite and stones. So my mining skill is like kind of going up a little bit. And I can craft... Uh, Nothing new, but if I dismantle granite, I get stones. Well, that's the opposite of what I want. I want sharpened stone or a sharpened item of some kind. All right, let's go over here. Maybe if I dig up... Ooh, my strength raised. All right. Well, I've, like, gotten better in some ways. That's cool. Well, I got to tell you. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I can make a sharpened, sharp granite. That's what I want. Yes, now I can make all kinds of things. I can make a fire plow. 
Um, okay, I can make a wooden mortar and pestle. Very good. I can make an arrow shaft, and I can make another spear. Um, I can make fire with this. Let's make that right away. Uh, let's see. And then if I want to... Did I make it? I did craft it. All right, let me get that item. Um, ooh, I made sharp granite of regeneration. It's remarkable. Hilarious. It, it regenerates its durability. Well, this will help stay alive for a long time then. That's great. Oh, by the way, I did actually end up making the mortar and pestle. All right, so let me kind of... I don't know, do I want to slot this down here to make fire? And then put my mortar and pestle down there? Um, apparently, I can't use this. Um, no action. Oh, okay. You you don't do it like that. You just say, um, "All right, I don't I don't know enough about doing that to to make that happen." But um, start a fire, use on campfires, furnaces, etc. to light them. So I can't just like make. I did make a fire. I mean, it's just there. That's interesting. And now I can melt this, I guess, if I wanted to. And now I don't know what that does, but I did it. All right. So I made a fire. I melted that stuff down. Um, and I have melted copal. And it's used to, like, reinforce. Um, I can cool it on another item, right? So it's like I could try to use this on something. I have no idea. But, man, I'll tell you what. This game seems really, really cool. It's got, like, it's like a fantasy cataclysm you know, uh, <laughs> and I think it's going to get sinister, but it's also got this, like, uh, you know, Harvest Moon kind of Minecrafty Valheim vibe happening, and I think it's fantastic. I just have to learn more about it. So let me say this. If you've played this, if you can help me with this, please leave your suggestions, your tips, your ideas, your experience in the comments below so we can kind of work through how to understand this. It's an early development stage. It's beta, right? So they're going to put on more tutorial, more explanation to you know penetrate uh, this game. But so far, it seems like there's a lot implemented and it's all here and the UI is nice and intuitive. So I think there's a great foundation for something here. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care.